locks here, you just put your key against it, which is great for the cell phone cases that hold your key for you. Make sure that you always have a card in the light in order to turn it on. They actually provide a blank card for you, so you don't have to worry about leaving your key in the room behind you. In this room, you have the choice of either a king-size bed or two twin-size beds. Your choice. And then they can simply move it over the two beds so you can have twin if you prefer. Some rooms are connecting rooms, which allows you to go and have a family share more easily. Each cabin also has towels that are provided for your shore excursions. Just make sure you bring them back so you don't get charged for it accidentally. There is a flat screen television, which is nice because it provides more room than what you have elsewhere. Underneath your desk, you also can find on many, although not all cabins, a refrigerator, which allows you some storage room for things you want to keep cold, whether that's alcohol or a little extra snacks, or if you go to Gigi Asian Kitchen, you will end up with a ton of leftovers that you can enjoy the next day. Below, you have storage space down there. You can also find your life vests in the little nightstands. There is a light switch over your bed. And you have an area to get ready. One nice thing about Carnival with the newer ships is that the Horizon now has European plugs and US plugs. And notice they also have USB plugs. This is a huge win. If you don't have enough plug space for what you need for your devices, make sure you bring a small extension, like a Belkin charger, rather than a full-on charge. Your closet, one side contains a safe. Note that it's a fairly small safe, so it's not gonna hold a full-size laptop, but you do have additional shelving above your safe, as well as drawers below. The other side is where you've got your hangers. They do provide sufficient hangers, but again, if you want to, always feel free to bring your own. Bathrobes are not usually here, so don't expect to see bathrobes in your room. But on the plus side, there is a mirror on the inside which provides a full-length mirror for you to get ready. A word of warning about the bathroom, there is a light switch on the outside to turn it on. It gives a lot of light, especially at night, so my recommendation is get those little um, battery-operated LED candles and put them in your bathroom for that time. The bathroom on the horizon has a larger shower than what you're used to, which is kind of nice to have. It does still have the shower hanging string for your use, as well as a grab bar for safety. Like other ships, Carnival does provide shower gel and shampoo, but not conditioner. And I will tell you, the shampoo is very drying, so I always bring my own. It is a rain, nice shower head that can move as needed, and you set your own temperature based on what degree of hotness you like to have your shower at. There is also a commode and the little white button behind to flush, as well as towels. If you need extra towels, your steward is always happy to provide them as well. There is a magnifying mirror as well as additional shelving compared to other ships for storing your bathroom items. And there is, of course, always a trash can here and Kleenex. Lastly, there is somewhere, ah, found it. Additional shelving on this side. Again, usually you do not have the extra nice bath and body stuff, um, that was something that you will not see in most of the cabins unless you have booked an interior on the spa deck. If you need additional plugins here, this is where you can find that. Note that this one is um, the 120 volt as well as three, 230 volt, so it is both US and European for that, but there is no USB cord here, and it's kind of hard to find above the sink. And that, my friends, is a tour of the cabin for an interior cabin on the Carnival Horizon, the newest ship within the Carnival fleet.